Hello everyone and welcome to another video of Aglasim School. So students, today we are going to discuss the solution for chapter 8 of NCRT class 7 science book. So friends, chapter 8 is about winds, storms and cyclones. Before we go to the solutions, let's revise the chapter briefly. The air. The air is the invisible gaseous substance surrounding the earth's atmosphere. By volume, the dry air contains 78.09% of nitrogen, 20.95% of oxygen, 0.93% of argon, 0.04% of carbon dioxide and trace amount of gaseous too. Other than this, air also contains water vapor that varies from place to place. Now let's discuss about the properties of air and the first property of air is air expands on heating and contracts on cooling. 2. Warm air rises up whereas cooler air comes down to take the place of the warm air. 3. Air around us exerts pressure. As we know that air moves from the region of higher pressure to the region of lower pressure, the moving air is also called wind. Wind is generally of two types, one wind current, two thunderstorm. Now if we talk about cyclones then high speed winds and difference in air pressure causes cyclones. These days cyclones can be monitored with advanced technologies like satellites and radars. So students this was all in this chapter now let's move to the exercise and the first question for this chapter is fill the missing words in the blank spaces in the following statements. A. Wind is dash air and the answer to it will be wind is moving air. B. Winds are generated due to dash heating on the earth and the answer to it will be winds are generated due to uneven heating of the earth. C. Near the earth's surface dash air rises up whereas dash air comes down and the answer to it will be near the earth's surface warm air rises up whereas cold air comes down. D. Air moves from a region of dash pressure to a region of dash pressure and the answer to it will be air moves from the region of high pressure to the region of low pressure. Now moving to question number 2, suggest two methods to find out wind direction at a given place and the answer to it will be the following are the two methods to find out the direction of the wind. One, while flying a kite. Air exerts pressure on the kite due to which the kite flies. The direction in which the kite flies is the direction of blowing wind. 2. While riding a bicycle, the direction in which it is difficult to ride is opposite to the direction of the blowing wind. Therefore, while flying a kite or while riding a bicycle, the wind direction at a given place can be determined. Now let's move to the question number 3. State two experiences that made you think that air exerts pressure other than those given in the text. And the answer to it will be when we blow a balloon, the balloon becomes tight. If we try to fill more air, then the balloon will burst after an exert. This happens because air exerts pressure. We have also experienced that movement of fringes of windows and doors of our houses when wind blows in a high speed. This also happens because air exerts pressure. Now moving to question number 4, you want to buy a house, would you like to buy a house having windows but no ventilations, explain your answer. And the answer to it will be a house having windows but no ventilator should not be bought. This is because warm air is lighter than cold air and therefore it goes up. This warm air can go outside the house mostly through ventilators. Then the warm air cannot go outside easily if there are no ventilators. That's why we should buy a house with ventilators too. Now moving to question number 5. Explain why holes are made in hanging banners and hoardings. And the answer to it will be air exerts pressure. Wind blowing in high speed may break or displace many things. If holes are made in hanging banners and hoardings then air can pass through these holes which reduce the air pressure exacted on the banner and hoardings. This is why holes are made in hanging banners and hoardings. Now moving to question number 6. How will you help your neighbors in case cyclones approaches your village or town? And the answer to it will be In case cyclone approaches, the neighbors should be helped in the following ways. 1. By helping to moving into the cyclone shelters and other safer places. 2. By asking them to take necessary steps to 
shipped animals, vehicles and household goods to safer places and 3. By calling the emergency services such as police, fire brigade and medical centers when required. Now let's discuss question number 7. What planning is required in advance to deal with the situations created by a cyclone? And the answer to it will be the following planning is required to deal with the situation created by the cyclone. 1. Facilities for cyclone prediction and forecasting which can give cyclone warning in advance. 2. Quick information and communication linkage so that information can be spread quickly. And 3. Construction of cyclone shelters and arrangement for moving people to safer places for safety during cyclones. Now let's see question number 8. Which of the following places is unlikely to be affected by a cyclone? And the options are Chennai, Mangaluru, Amritsar and Puri. And the answer is Amritsar. Now let's see question number 9. Which of the statements given below is correct? And the statements are 1. In winter the wind flows from the land to ocean. 2. In summer the wind flows from the land towards the ocean. 3. A cyclone is formed by a very high pressure system with very high speed winds revolving around it. And 4. The coastlines of India is not vulnerable to cyclones. And the answer to it will be 1. In winter, the wind flows from the land to the ocean. This is called land breeze. So students, this was all for this chapter. Hope you liked the video. And if you did, then do not forget to like it and share it with your friends. And if you still have any doubt, then you can let us know by writing in the comment section below. And do subscribe our channel for more such NCRT videos. See you soon. Till then, bye-bye.